The Beatles once said that all you need is love. And I like that. It's so sweet. And it's also not true. It's not true. It is a utopic view of what relationships require. As long as you have love, it's going to work. Love is definitely part of the equation, but it is not all that is required for relationships to work. Any relationship, friend, family, romance, professional. Love isn't enough to make these relationships work. Love is not all you need, although it is a part of the recipe. But relationships, in my opinion, for them to work, need more than love. They need commitment, responsibility, the ability to compromise, the ability to look at one's part, one's story, one's triggers. Risk. Relationships take risk. So much risk. Also, vulnerability. Emotional availability. Oh, how about communication? The ability to communicate your needs, your desires, your deal breakers, how to talk about unwanted behaviors, how to say no. Relationships also require you to be able to say no with love, hopefully. How not to self-abandon. How to prioritize one person and then sometimes yourself and how to balance priorities. <laughs> they, they require so much more than love. Love is, is good. Love will get you going. Love will keep you together. Can. Love can keep you together. Can. Can. <sighs> can inspire you to continue working together to make your relationship thrive or grow or even just maintain. Sometimes your relationship will be in maintenance mode because other things will take priority. Kids, jobs, family, emergencies. I was talking to a neighbor like a a year ago and I said something along the lines of, oh man, relationships are or work. And he looks at me kind of sideways and he goes, no, no, they're not. You know, work is work. Relationships are easy. And I just kind of let it go. I didn't actually feel like getting into it with him. It's true that some relationships are going to be easier, right? If there's a good fit, if your story fits well with their story, If your particular wound fits well with their wound, if your tools are complementary to their tools, if you want what they want, right? Some of these things are going to make your relationship easier, less work. And other relationships are going to be more work. Maybe, dare I say, too much work, where the gap between where you're at and where you want to be is too big. Or if you want different things, or if you have completely different tools or views on how relationships should work. Sometimes it doesn't matter how much love there is, the gap is too big. And then most times, it's just like a regular amount of work. Relationships are going to take work. They're just going to take work. I I don't really think, nor have I ever been in a relationship that was just easy all the way. How could it be? We're both showing up with our own expectations, triggers, wounds, stories, desires, needs, ways of being brought up, ways of looking at the world. We got to find a common ground. And a common ground doesn't just happen automatically. You know, people look for that chemistry, that click that signifies, oh, I've met someone here 
that's a good fit and that will require less work. And in my experience, the deeper you go and the longer you stay with someone, the more work will be required. It'll be of a different nature, a different flavor. Sometimes the work will be easier. But to continue and to sustain a loving, connected relationship, it's going to be more than just love that's going to keep it going. It's going to be a mutual desire to work. A mutual commitment to exploring your part, their part, your story, their story, your unconscious behaviors. How you impact them and how they impact you. This this stuff is hard. It is so hard. It takes a lot of awareness. And if you're in like a miraculously easy relationship, well, hats off, kudos. I'm super happy and I'd love for you to tell us what the secret is. I certainly haven't found it. I think if I had found the secret to long-lasting, happy, easy relationships, I would be a billionaire. I think we're all sort of looking for that. And then some of us know that it's going to be hard. There will be periods of hard. Hopefully more fun, more joy, more bliss than challenge. But sometimes you'll go through periods where it feels like it's just a lot of challenge. And then you can lean on that love to get you through to the next bit. The next bit of the the roller coaster. The roller coaster of love, of relationships, or of life. Life is hard, my God. Is it not? Am I the only one? I mean, I'm, I'm super privileged and I find life hard. So I can only imagine how hard it must be if you are scared of losing your job, if you are raising children, if you are dealing with sick parents, if you are raising children on your own while trying to date during a pandemic, while working full-time from home. Holy shit. That is hard. Life is hard. Relationships require work. Love is nice. (laughs) Love is a requirement, but love is not enough. It's not enough. No invitation this week. No assignment. No journal exercise. Just a small note to say that if you're struggling with your relationship to anybody, I get it. And it makes sense. Because relationships are hard. And love is Unfortunately, not enough, though it's a great place to start. My name is Sean Galanos. This has been a small pep talk of the Love Drive podcast. Have a beautiful week.